GameGameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2013 Sun Bowl between the UCLA Bruins and the Virginia Tech Hokies. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Bruins. The Bruins come into this ball game boasting a 9-3 record. Outstanding season overall led by quarterback Brett Huntley. And what they have to do versus Virginia Tech, it's all about expanding the field. Virginia Tech wants to get aggressive. They want to play downhill. And if Brett Huntley can not expand this field both horizontally and vertically, then the Bruins can have a lot of success both running the football as well as throwing the football versus Virginia Tech. Now on the defensive side, we know they have an outstanding linebacking core, arguably one of the best linebacking cores in the country. They're very athletic, led by Anthony Barr, the All-American, and the true freshman, Miles Jack, who's done a sensational job so far this season. The key for the Bruins this week versus Virginia Tech is to keep Logan Thomas contained in the pocket and force him to be a consistent and accurate passer all game long. And they also can't get out of position. Otherwise, Trey Edmonds has a speed to take it the distance, and he can gash him for big plays on the ground. Now let's move over to Virginia Tech in this ball game, and the Hokies passing game has gotten better each and every game. They now have developed that consistency. That's all you want to see all year long from Logan Thomas and those receivers. But what has to happen in this game versus UCLA, that offensive line has to play a huge role because the Hokies have to be able to run the football and keep those linebackers from just teeing off and trying to get pressure on Thomas. If they can develop that balance, they can knock off UCLA. On the defensive side, they are always a very solid unit, in particular in the back seven. They do a great job in their short to intermediate coverage. I think that's going to be the biggest key in this ball game: stopping those swing routes, stopping the quick passing game of UCLA, and forcing Brett Huntley to take more shots deep down the field. If they're able to accomplish that, it just plays right into the hands of the Hokies' script, which is their secondary, and it also takes UCLA out of their game plan. They want to use the short passing game as a supplement to their rushing attack, and that just, again, limits what they can do offensively and gives your defense a better chance of playing great football. The X Factor for the Bruins in this ball game will be their inside linebackers, both Eric Kendricks and Jordan Zumwalt. I think those guys can have a huge impact in this ball game because I'm pretty sure Virginia Tech will be focused on those outside guys, Miles Jack and Anthony Barr. It just opens up plenty of opportunities for these guys on the inside, not only to get pressure on the quarterback, but also stopping the running game and forcing Virginia Tech into a one dimensional mode. And the X Factor for the Hokies will be their rover, because showing Jarrett, who's an enforcer over the middle of the field normally, but I think in this game versus UCLA, he can be better utilized as a blitzer coming off the edge to try to disrupt the timing of that Bruins offense. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game. For UCLA, Brett Huntley has to work more vertically down the field versus Virginia Tech. You can't just come into this ball game with a dink and dunk approach, your bubble screens, your quick hitches, your slant. They have to take chances deep down the field if they want to have success. And the communication alone in the offensive line has to be in order because Virginia Tech sends a lot of stunts up front with those defensive linemen. If they can't pick up the stunts or recognize blitzes, they're going to be in trouble all game long. They have to force Logan Thomas into quick throws. That way they can rally up, make the tackle, and get all the field. And for the Hokies, I believe they can take chances on the corners. This is a very simplistic passing game for UCLA, and if they gamble on the corners, they could come away with a big play that could result into a touchdown on the defensive side of the ball. And they have to finish drives on offense. Right now, Virginia Tech has been a football team that can move the football 20-20. to If they struggle inside the red zone, they have to come away with touchdowns if they want to knock off UCLA. And the misdirection running game should be in order versus the Bruins' outstanding outside linebackers. You want to influence those guys to come up the field, maybe hit those guys with wham blocks, traps, try to get creative in the running game, and that way you can have some success running the football. Now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game, and there's a lot of talent for both teams on both sides of the ball, and all attention will be on the two quarterbacks in this ball game, Brett Huntley, who's a redshirt sophomore, and Logan Thomas, who's a senior that will be playing in the Senior Bowl, but don't sleep on the defensive talent that will be on display in this ball game. Anthony Barr, quite honestly, one of the best linebackers in the country, and for Virginia Tech, you look in the secondary, Kyle Fuller, outstanding cornerback, Anton Exum, may not play in this ball game, but definitely is a guy you want to keep an eye on moving forward. Jack Tyler, outstanding linebacker with a lot of speed, 6'1", 230. And back on UCLA side, Cassius Marsh, very underrated defensive player in the country. So again, a boatload of defensive talent will be on display in this year's Sun Bowl.
In the 1988 Sun Bowl, Alabama took on Army in a contrast in styles as Army's option attack led by running back Mike Mayweather gave Alabama's fifth-ranked defense led by All-American defensive end Derek Thomas fits all day long, rushing for over 350 yards. Now nursing a 28-20 lead in the fourth quarter, the Crimson Tide's offense was able to get into gear, scoring nine unanswered points to win 29-28. In the 1987 Aloha Bowl, UCLA took on Florida as two future teammates faced off against each other as quarterback Troy Aikman led his Bruins over Emmitt Smith's Florida Gators 20-16. Aikman for the most part struggled that day throwing two interceptions while Emmitt Smith carried the Gators offense, rushing for 128 yards on 17 carries. But Aikman made the biggest play of the game with a five-yard touchdown pass to Danny Thompson, helping the Bruins finish the season with a 10-2 record. In the 1986 Peach Bowl, Virginia Tech took on NC State and what was expected to be an offensive shootout ended up being a defensive struggle. After NC State jumped out to a 21-10 halftime lead, the Hokies defense led by linebacker Paul Nelson was able to hold the Wolfpack to only three second half points while running back Maurice Williams and that Virginia Tech offense kicked into gear and pulled off the upset 25-24. Before he went on to a future Hall of Fame career with the Los Angeles Rams, wide receiver Tom Fears was a two-time All-American playmaker for UCLA in 1946 and 1947, and what made him so difficult to defend, he was a big wide receiver for his time at 6'2", 213 pounds. Quarterback Dan Strock was definitely a campus legend for Virginia Tech from 1969 to 1972. Here's a player that still owns virtually most of Virginia Tech's passing records, and he led the nation as a senior in total passing yards and also total offense and finished ninth in the Heisman Trophy voting that year. I actually like the Hokies in this ballgame. I like their defense over UCLA's offense. I think they have talent at every level that can cause problems. The back seven can cover very well in the short to intermediate to even deep passing game. And up front, they can get pressure on the quarterback from James Gale, the outstanding defensive end. So I think the Hokies defense will be the reason why they come away from the 2013 Sun Bowl Champions.